You don't often come across cool looking gaming themed notebooks anymore. In fact, I haven't seen one in a while, so the new MSR Crosshair 15 Rainbow Six Extraction Edition, that's a long name, immediately caught my eye. If you don't know by now, this RTX 3060 gaming notebook is designed after Ubisoft's popular Rainbow Six Extraction shooter, which was released last year. While the game is still struggling to keep its relevance today, the notebook should make for a great addition to your gaming setup, especially if you like limited edition notebooks. For those wondering, the MSI Crosshair 15 comes in two different models. You can get yourself the RTX 3060 and the RTX 3070 version. They also come with various CPU options, including Core 9 and Core 7. If you want the best of the best, you need to look at the B12UGZ model. This is the RTX 3070 model, but also packs a 90 watt battery in comparison to the 54 watt battery found in the RTX 3060 model. Other than the battery, GPU, and CPU configurations, the Crosshair 15 is almost identical in the display, chassis, and design. It is all about the internals and how different the internals are across the board. You can also find other models that come with 32GB of RAM and a 3070TR model, but you really have to look for those. Speaking of the display, the notebook packs a 15.6 QHD 165Hz panel, which is pretty impressive. While the GPU on the RTX 3060 model might struggle to hit 165Hz on certain games at 1440p, the panel is definitely one of the best around for competitive gaming, and especially for this price point. In fact, this specific notebook is one of the most affordable QHD 165Hz panels that you can get on the market. If you plan on playing games like Rainbow Six Siege and Extraction and other competitive PvP games, this display is perfect. These models do come with a price tag, but I have to say that they are priced quite competitively. The 3060 model will set you back 34,000 Rand here in SA, and you can grab the 3070 Ti model with 32 gigabytes of RAM for 52,000. While the 52,000 Rand one is a bit insane, the RTX 3060 model for 34,000 Rand is actually quite a bargain considering its specs. Of course, the MSI Crosshair 15 screams Rainbow Six Extraction right from the start. It is packed in a cool looking quarantine box that features the game's iconic yellow and green art style. Opening it up, you get an extraction mouse pad that features a handful of in-game operators. The box also contains a cool looking MSI M99 wide gaming mouse that is also extraction themed with a yellow shell. The notebook is of course the big item here and it is pretty cool to look at. From the outside you'll never tell this was actually an MSI Crosshair notebook due to the lack of MSI branding on the outer shell. Instead of the MSI logo, this notebook posts an extraction symbol slapped into the middle of the lid. The logo also lights up and is pretty cool to look at. There are a few decals that run across the lid to the hinge that connects it with the bright yellow accent. The hinge then leads downwards to the inner of the notebook where the keyboard and trackpad are found. This entire surface area is also extraction themed, from the giant react text on the trackpad to the yellow into green color shift across the shell. There are also four unique keys on the keyboard that look pretty awesome. The WASD key boasts a translucent yellowish plastic shell in comparison to the rest of the deep black keys. These keys look drastically different from the rest of the layout and really give the notebook some extra personality. The notebook weighs 2.4 kilograms and its 15 inch size makes it ideal for carrying around wherever you go. While MSI has been putting 16 by 10 displays in most of its new notebooks, the company didn't go with that display size for this one. The usual 16 by 9 display works well here and the panel is bright and responsive at 2.5 milliseconds. The keyboard is decent here too. While there's no steel series tech behind these keys, the 1.7mm travel time and the inclusion of a number pad makes this keyboard a dream. The RGB spectrum lighting works well and it let me customize the layout of the keyboard lighting across certain areas. It's not per key lighting, keep that in mind, it's per zone lighting here. As for the trackpad, it was okay. It does boast some cool extraction decals on it and the size is big enough to perform all sorts of gestures. When it comes to the ports, the MSI Crosshair 15 packs the majority of the needed ports. On the right you'll find a USB 3.2 Type-A port and an HDMI 2.0 port. This means this HDMI port is restricted to 4K 60Hz output only. Even if you purchase an RTX 3070 Ti model, you won't be able to output 4K 120 due to the limited HDMI port. This is the second notebook I've reviewed now from MSI that has dropped the ball when it comes to display out ports. On the left, there's a USB 2.0 A port and one USB C 3.2 port. There's also DC charging, and then that's pretty much it here. When it comes to the performance of this notebook, you get what you pay for. The RTX 3060 isn't a bad GPU by any means, and the results show that you can get away with some decent 1440p gaming on this notebook. Sure, I had to cut down some of the visual features to max these settings out to 1440p, but the GPU mustn't be underestimated. Of course, there's no way you're going to play the most recent games at 1440p 160Hz, but the display does give you the freedom to tweak your settings in favor of resolution or frame rate. 
This model does come with a copy of Rainbow Six Extraction, and while it was already deemed by whoever reviewed this notebook before me, I did own the copy of the game, so I tested it out. Of course, you have to. It was a Rainbow Six Extraction notebook. It's pretty pointless not testing Rainbow Six Extraction. If you're buying the notebook for the game, Extraction runs smoothly at 80 frames per second, maxed out at 1440p. But I did test other games and benchmarks, and they came out with the following scores. You can see from the results that this notebook performs pretty well. Some games will hit 60fps just fine at 1440p, while others you'll have to tweak here and there to get them closer to that resolution. There's no game this notebook can't play. Even the most demanding games that I tested like Dying Light 2 managed to hit close to 45fps during tests at 1440p maxed out. Is the 165Hz display overkill? It might not be the case. You'll have to play some older games or some PvP driven games to really feel the kick from the high refresh rate. During my test, the notebook did get quite loud and a bit hot. The notebook packs 6 heat pumps with 2 fans and MSI has done a great job keeping things cool. With that being said, the notebook does come with Cooler Boost 5 tech. The fans did hit 5900 RPM which is quite fast and they are loud enough to overtake the notebook speakers. But I didn't notice any throttling of any kind. As for the speakers and the battery, the notebook battery is pretty mediocre. This 54 watt per hour battery gets around 3 hours of max use before needing a charge. You can extend this to 3 or 4 by sacrificing some display brightness, but this is definitely not a notebook that you'll be sitting around with all day. Of course, if you're a gamer, you need to plug it in. Speaker wise, they are generally good too. While they lack any real punch, they will provide enough volume for media and some gaming. You might want to opt for a headset when you're doing some heavy gaming just to fight through some of the fan noise. In the end, I did enjoy my time with the MSI Crosshair 15, especially because it's Rainbow Six Siege Extraction themed. It looks pretty awesome and it stands out amongst other notebooks on the market. It also has a fairly decent asking price. It is most likely one of the better gaming laptops you can get for under 35,000 Rand. And those are my thoughts on the MSI Cross A15. Are you looking to pick this up? Let us know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching and please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please also check out our other notebook reviews on the channel too. Until next time, farewell.